I think the toughest part for me was being in the gym and seeing the boys training every day and then going to watch games knowing that you can't play. Um, I think that was the toughest part for myself, especially when there was nobody else injured at first and I was just in the gym with me and the physios. Oh. Yeah. We had a couple of questions asking how you like managing mentally keep yourself like in the game when when you are out with injury I mean like what do you do and how were you training as well because people were asking how your training routines were going whilst you were out um, with your injury it varies really I think when when I was first injured there's not much I could do so I was um you know I got away for a bit and just relaxed and done a bit of a bit of stuff in the gym that I could and then when I came back I could up it and then the physio sent me a program, and um, you just you just have to stick to it. You know, I think I, I was I was working every day during the week, um, but I think for every every different injury, it's different for every every person. You had um, a good few games at the under twenty three, so you were finally returned from injury, and then of course you played on Tuesday night as well. How did that feel after so long out? Yeah, it was it was a relief. Um, I've been waiting for it for a while now, and then um, especially against Bristol too. I know it doesn't really mean nothing to me, but it was um, it was nice to score against them, and um, just nice to get on the pitch and get some minutes under my belt. I would say maybe. Maybe the goal against Sheffield United at home last season or the second goal against Aston Villa last season. One of the two. I was on loan at Sheffield United when I was younger and the Villa goal, obviously growing up, I supported Birmingham City. There's anyone else for that, isn't there? Of course we are. <laughs> don't think I'm allowed to say no either way. But they are though. I mean, yeah, they are. Crazy, isn't it? Of course I'm they are. They've been. They've they've been, been, they've been fantastic. No, they have. They've been unbelievable this season. You know, I know the gaffers mentioned it a few times, but they really have been like a 12th man for us, and they're getting us through game by game. Even when we haven't been at our best, they've they've been amazing. So hopefully that can continue. Mm, I think I have to say this the Soul Bamba song that like, even when I'm on the bench or in the stand I hear it and I'm like I just, I just get into it. Soul Bamba. <laughs> no, I like that one. That's my favourite I think. And Birmingham City, obviously that's where I'm from, but then as I got a bit older I support Birmingham, but I grew up supporting Arsenal as well, because Thierry Henry, that was my idol growing up, so I was just a bit above. Nope, I don't, couldn't, couldn't tell you the last time I'd done the 100 metre sprint, but me and Josh, I'd have to say myself. Of course you do. No, I, I, I think you'd say the same. We'll have to, we'll have to separate. Yeah, we, can do, do we that. can do that. No, no, not 30 metres, 100 metres. 100 metres? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's one, one of many goals. I'd say it's a dream to play in the Premier League, but I, I've, I'm far from accomplished all my goals, you know, I'm, I'm still yet to score in the Premier League and it's not just playing in the Premier League, you want to be successful in the Premier League, you know, so I think we're doing okay, um, but if we was to stay in the Premier League and get another crack at it, then that would be another accomplishment and then to just go on and keep playing and playing for as long as possible in this league. So if you cast your mind back to a couple of years ago when you were at Rochdale, did you ever think that two seasons down the line you'll be playing in the Premier League? I wouldn't say I thought it, but 
Like I, I, I planned it out in my head. I never thought that I'm, I'm still not going, not going to get to where I want to be. You know, um, when you're down in, in them leagues, you, you need to be mentally strong. And um, I always, I pictured it happening. When it would happen, I didn't know, but I always thought that I, I would get there at some point. Funniest that I, I skippers up there. For, I think for myself, because in my corner of the dressing room is Patterson and Rouse, and them two they, they kill me every day. Um, Patterson and Joe for me, both of them I couldn't pick out of them. <laughs> 